Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbuds TV mixing and mastering tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and just when you thought everything there was to say about two-bus compression had been said, here's one of the best kept secret techniques for mixbus compression. I want to talk to you about combining saturation and compression. We actually perceive it as louder, but the peak level is lower. Today I want to show you how to use a de-esser to control your lows. Yes, you heard me right, a de -esser for bass control. I want to try to help you if you find that you run into the common problem of having your mixes to sound too bright and sometimes annoyingly harsh. The high pass madness is the best way to cut your mixes balls. If I low pass once, that's the phase shift that we have. If I happen to high pass again, there's gonna be more phase shift and more phase shift and more you see uh don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't high pass anything i'm just saying don't do anything by default how would you go if you wanted to emulate a full analog signal flow inside your DAW with plugins so what can we do to give this drum a little more space a little depth and to make it sound bigger and to give it a little stereo spread and here i created two mono aux tracks without it's a pretty big difference and that is the difference between mastering and two bus processing two bus processing it is not mastering today i want to show you a very cool trick that you can do with reverbs in this bus you put the auto panner two mono auxes it will give us two different reverbs when it shifts from left to right Another one of my podcast rants, if you want warmth, you gotta use tube gear. And that is complete bullshit. Tube gear does not equal better sound. Whenever you want a weird space behind a vocal or maybe a guitar, if you open a trim plugin and you flip the phase of one of the channels, this is the result. You make it hard, I want to stop and stare. I'm gonna show you a simple technique for analyzing your own tracks against your reference mixes. And this will be especially useful for those of you mixing at home on headphones or not too well treated rooms with cheap monitoring system. Pan law, and now it affects stereo width and mono compatibility. So here's a way to use parallel compression that is not so common. I call it XCOMP mix. And I send to this bus everything but the drum. Bring it in. You read the title and you went, okay, he's just messing with us now. A horrible, horrible condition that affects studio engineers all around the world, commonly known as fuck around diaries. If you have a 40, 60 plus tracks mix and you spend 30 minutes or more trying all the different compressors that you have available on your kick, that is a sign that most likely you have it. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. If you liked the video, please don't forget to click the like button. Support Mixbus TV by sharing the videos on social media, forums, blogs. Join us on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.